Hey, it's Tom the Tuesday Reseller here. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I make videos about items that I find in Goodwill or regional thrift stores or the Salvation Army that I resell on eBay. And I usually sell mostly used and new men's clothing. I went to uh, one of the regional chains today and I also visited a Goodwill and I found seventh items that I am going to list on eBay. And I'm going to... The first one is an Orvis barn jacket. This is a really nice jacket. It has a corduroy collar and it's really heavy material. It's got nice vents um, on the arms so that you can move without much restriction. And it is a men's size large, and I paid $15 for this. Comps on eBay were going as much as $80 for this style. The next one is a Carhartt with a hood. It's a Carhartt jacket with a hood, and it's insulated, it's quilted, and it really doesn't show much wear on it at all. In fact, I doubt this one has been worn that, worn that much. Um, the only negative uh, of this garment is that it is branded with a name, Parsons. So um, sometimes worker dudes don't mind that there's logos on their jacket because they're not really buying this jacket to look good. They're buying the jacket to stay warm. Carhartt is a, an American company that was founded in the 1800s and it has been making jackets ever since. Um, I did a little research on Carhartt. Um, I believe they're from Michigan, and uh, the story is pretty cool about how they designed jackets uh, for one certain type of industry, and then they just branched out uh, to uh, make jackets for working people who work outside and need non-restrictive clothing that still keeps them warm. Let's talk a little vintage. And let's talk about a brand that normally sells, even if it's not vintage, is the North Face. This is a North Face Gore-Tex ski shell. And there's the North Face logo. On the inside, it says, the North Face made in USA Gore-Tex size medium. Look at the colorway on this. That just scream 90s? Right? Not really heavy, um, <clears throat> a little bit bigger uh, cut than a normal medium. Uh, comps on eBay sold as much as $125, and I bought this for $15 without even looking it up before um, I bought it. I, I knew it was going to be good, um, but I saw North Face and then I saw Made in USA. I knew it was vintage, I knew it was in Gore Tex. Um, so when you find things that are Gore-Tex, that is not a cheap material, and that is a very rugged material that keeps people warm. That's why it's so light. Okay, so the next one is another vintage uh, sweatshirt. This is a Pitt, University of Pittsburgh, the Pitt Panthers. This is a champion, and what makes this so desirable is that it is a reverse weave garment. So this is a Champion Reverse Weave Large, 90% cotton, 10% polyester, and this is the heavyweight 90s Champion shirts, uh, sweatshirts. Uh, this is a really cool design. I mean, if I liked Pitt, I probably would wear it, but I am not a Pitt fan. Um, I like a couple of other ACC teams, not Pitt, but don't dislike Pitt. So if you want to buy this, sign on to my eBay account and take a look at it. So, um, constantly saying to leave Brooks Brothers items on the shelf or on the rack because there's m thousands of Brooks Brothers polos out there. So you need to differentiate yourself from the thousands that are already out there. Well, I've already differentiated myself by buying new with tag. And I bought two new with tag, the same size, extra large, slim fit, which sometimes I think is an Sometimes I think is an oxymoron, extra large, slim fit. No, it's just a guy that works out. That's a big guy that, you know, is cut slim at the waist. So um, what I will do 
to make this more desirable, I'm going to list these as a bundle. Black and blue, same size, new with tags. Um, it may not sell as much for uh, in comparison to something that is new with tags and sells by itself, but listed together, the same size, I think I will be able to position these garments to someone who wants to buy two at once of the same size and same brand. I have a feeling these will sell quickly. My, my lots usually do sell quickly because I know uh, that if I bundle something together and make it different from, make it either different or make it convenient, and this is very convenient, buying the same uh, shirt, different colors, from the same person is going to get uh, more buyers and more click-throughs than just a single polo. Next to last one is uh, from the Goodwill. Those uh, two Brooks Brothers shirts were also from the Goodwill. but uh, So those were $6 each. Uh, they were right next to Polo Ralph Lauren button-down dress shirts that were $10. And then, of course, they were right next to the Nike polos for $8. Makes no sense. You have brand new Brooks Brothers for 6 and then you have those other brands that are ubiquitous selling for so much more. So this is another example of you need to beat the Goodwill Pricer, and I think today I did. This is a Brooks Brothers. This is a cotton trench coat, and this is a 44 regular. It's got a blue label on it, and this was um, fashioned in Italy. Um, I'm sorry, the the material was fashioned in Italy, made in Thailand. So this is a very nice garment. Um, I'll steam it before I list it. It's got a navy blue, and I really like the under collar. I used to have a tie, Brooks Brothers tie, that same pattern and material. It feels like it's silk under there. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But again, I did some comps uh, on this well in the hundreds. I paid $7.99 for it. Yes, just like I said, Polo Ralph Lauren, Under Armour, Nike's going for $10. You've got a Brooks Brothers trench coat, new, uh, well into the $200 range, and you've got to sell them for $7.99. I beat the Goodwill Pricer. That's how I make money. I know more than the Goodwill Pricer most of the times. Um, I'm not bragging, I've just been doing it long enough and I use my tools that I have with me, my eBay and my Amazon seller apps, to figure out what's going on. Alright, and so the last one, I don't know why I decided to research this in the Goodwill. Nothing really fancy about it, but you can see it's got a United States Postal Service logo and uh, sewn on, patch sewn on. This is a USPS zippered sweater. And uh, I paid uh, $4.99 for this. Comps, some of them were going for $50. I, I mean, I almost just pushed this right through the rack, but I had never seen one of these before. So what I do, I look it up on my eBay seller app, I do some comps, and I'm like, okay, let me see uh, the difference of how many were completed without selling, and how many of them were sold. And then I take a look at the price. So there's a few things that I go through. I go through it very quickly. Um, I never just look at the solds because they tell you the best story. What you want to know is the, the, the most crappy circumstances. And then you could base your selling on that. Sure, something might sell, but there might have been a thousand of that same item on eBay and only five of them sold. Well, if you just look at the solds, only the five solds are going to show not all the other ones that just sat and sat and sat. So I did see this. There wasn't many out there, the ones that were priced accordingly sold. If you listen to my videos, you will hear that phrase. If you price accordingly and there is a market, you will sell. I really appreciate you watching my videos. If you like them, maybe you can like and subscribe. Thank you.